today on Every Burger in Vegas, we're eating at Farmer Bowl. Farmer Boys is a fast food chain primarily in California, but they got a couple locations out here in Las Vegas. And because we're trying to try every burger, we gotta go to Farmer Boys. I wanna see what it's like because on the sign, it says breakfast, burgers, and more. And the burgers is so much bigger, meaning they gotta have some faith that this burger is good. The reviews on Google didn't look very good. I think it's got about a 2.5 out of five, but I'm hoping maybe that's all the other items in the burgers Supreme. So let's go inside. Let's try a burger at Farmer Boys, Las Vegas, Nevada. Every burger in Vegas. Looks like a good burger. Voted best burger. Anytime they say it's voted best burger, you know, it's either going to be really good or really bad. I keep wanting to get milkshakes and then I keep having to hold us back from drinking milkshakes. This is every burger only in Vegas. Not every milkshake in Vegas, nothing like that. Can I just get the farmer's burger? Yeah, and then two cups of water. Yeah, we're just vlogging, eating every burger in Vegas. Get some water going. Off the bat, it looks like a fun, chill spot for breakfast. I was expecting more of a fast food place, but it looks more like a Denny's on the inside. I won't be surprised if we get like even a normal plate to eat this burger off of. Here is your mission for the week. I love Danny the Medic. He's always doing great food and travel videos. And I think it'd be really cool to eat a burger with him. I think it would help grow the channel. I think it'd be great for everybody involved. So if you wanna help spread the word, go on over to Danny the Medic's channel, click on his most recent video, and leave a comment. Say, when are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? We can get that collab going. We'll all feel good eating that burger together. Me, Danny the Medic, possibly Terrence, and we can have a great time. So go on over to his channel, leave that comment, and then when you come back, We'll be eating a burger at Farmer Boys. Yeah, thank you. Can I say anything else? No, that's it. Thank you so much. So here it is, Farmer's Burger, award-winning burger from Farmer Boys. Looking good, you got a couple slices of bacon on there, about three slices of bacon looks like. I think it looks good. Let's try it out. You can see there's guacamole on there. We pull out the, the deadly spear. The Farmer's Burger from Farmer Boys, Las Vegas, every burger in Vegas. Let's go. I didn't even get the burger. Bite two, here we go. You need some napkins after this one. Off the bat, initial reaction is almost completely tasteless, which is crazy, because you've got a lot of ingredients stacked up. I'm just not getting like a super punch of burger flavor here. You know what we gotta do. Let's tear this baby apart. Let's start with the top bun. It's a sesame seed bun. You can see the bottom is coated lovingly in guacamole. The bun tastes fresh and soft. The bun itself could use a little seasoning, a little butter, something like that, to take it over the top. But the actual bread quality is fine, totally good. Then the guacamole, it's not guacamole actually, it's just avocado. Avocado's fresh, you know, no complaints there about the avocado. Uh, then onto the bacon itself. Bacon quality is about what you get at a cheap breakfast restaurant, like a Denny's or something, like very thin bacon, one step above what you're gonna put in the microwave, but nothing high grade, nothing really high class or high quality. And that brings us to the cheese. Cheese is American cheese, you know, standard. Every American cheese basically tastes the same. Let's try the actual meat of the burger itself. The meat of the burger is like Burger King quality, maybe a step above, but that's the vibe I'm getting is just like, you know, the cheapest meat they can find, put into a burger. It's well seasoned though, it's got salt, it's got some good seasoning on it, but, and then uh, we got pickles here. The pickles are like normal Vlasic pickles like you'd get at the grocery store. Tomato is actually pretty fresh. I mean, it's farmer boys. You could tell a lot of planning and preparation went into the shopping. You know, they spend a lot of time on gathering the right ingredients. The quality of the ingredients though is gonna come down to the price. Like if you wanna charge nine bucks for a burger, you can't have, you know, a $30 burger patty. It's just not gonna do that, but you can do everything you can, you know, when you shop for the patty, and, and it seems like that's what they're doing, shopping around for some very high quality ingredients here. Lettuce, same thing, like, 
iceberg lettuce, but it's fresh iceberg lettuce. You're not gonna get sick from eating this burger, you know, like you would from a lot of other fast food burgers. Onions and the sauce. Onions and sauce are almost completely tasteless. You can see a lot of the water from the lettuce has just dripped down onto the bottom bun, really diluting the sauce, diluting the onion. Uh, let's try the bottom bun here. Bottom bun flavorable. You know, it's bread, onion, and Thousand Island dressing. You can't really mess around with that. Farmer's burger, I'm gonna give it a uh, three out of 10. Let's move into final thoughts. Farmer Boys, decent restaurant. You can tell they're trying hard. They're limited by the amount that they're charging for a burger. You know, I feel like same concept, same shopping, everything. But if the burger was 25 bucks, the quality would be better. That's what they're limited by is the price. And so because of that, even though their cooking is perfect and their shopping is perfect, it's still a low rated burger. Would I recommend coming to Farmer Boys? As a fast food restaurant? Yeah, this is one of the best fast food restaurants out there. You know, it's better than Wendy's, better than McDonald's. Not as flavorful as something like a Shake Shack, but you know, fresher, probably healthier than something like a Shake Shack. So in terms of fast food burgers, yeah, it's great. It's a solid one. In terms of every restaurant in Vegas, like you're coming to Vegas just to try a restaurant, this is gonna be a not recommend. Well, that doesn't mean it's a bad restaurant. This could become my go-to when it comes to fast food restaurants. I don't know. I don't eat a lot of fast food, but if I had to, maybe I'd come here. And that's it for Farmer Boys. Thanks for watching the video. Be sure to smash that like button to encourage this type of content on YouTube. Subscribe for more videos like this because we are eating every burger in Las Vegas. Make sure to complete your weekly mission. We linked it down below. Go ahead and leave that comment. When are you gonna eat a burger with every burger? And then comment down below, have you had Farmer Boys? What do you think of it and how does it compare with the other fast food restaurants? For every burger in Vegas, I'll talk to you later. I'm every burger in Vegas. Thanks for burger. For the Farmer Burger, all in after taxes and everything, we're looking at 920. The burger itself was 849. And this is one of those rare restaurants where they don't even ask you to leave a tip. So this is what you get, what you're paying for is what you get, 920 for a Farmer Burger. Next week on Every Burger in Vegas. Some restaurants, they hate reviewers. They want to kick you out. They want to yell at the cameraman, Terrence.